In this video, I show you one of the best places to go hiking in Singapore, right here at Coney Island Park. Hey, if it is our first meeting, my name is Lynette and I'm super excited about helping people be beautiful and healthy naturally just by making simple lifestyle tweaks. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing and smashing the bell so you won't miss a thing. But hey, in this video, I'm at Coney Island East Entrance and I'll link links to important information down in the description below including a map of the island as well, so do check that out at any time. And watch right through to the end of the video for some bonus tips. Now, if you're wondering what to do on a weekend, you can actually take your family out for a hike or come out with your friends as well. And uh, Coney Island is one of the best hiking trails to go on right here in Singapore. And of course, it opens from 7 to 7. So to avoid the blistering heat, uh, come out here early in the morning or come after 4. And uh, just take note, there are no street lamps here. So you have to get out of here by sundown no matter what, okay? And uh, if you want to get from end to end, it takes about 3 hours on foot uh, but if you are on a bicycle it takes about what just 10 minutes if you cycle really really fast uh, but if you're into um, nature photography or if you love bird watching then it's so easy to spend up to like half a day uh, here on Coney Island Park and talking about birds there are over 80 species of birds that you can uh, try to spot here at Coney Island Park I only managed to spot one so you might have better luck than me. You will also be able to spot many other kinds of wildlife like squirrels, like otters um, and also long-tailed monkeys. And speaking of which, um, if you do bump into them, keep a safe distance. Uh, they are fond of coming up to you and stealing your colourful plastic bags of food. So you want to be careful there, keep your distance, don't feed them. As promised, here are some bonus tips. Always wear long pants and covered shoes. They're good for walking and they also keep the sand flies away. Speaking of which, apply heaps of insect repellent, especially those that contain DEET so that they will repel midges especially and other insects as well. And bring your own water bottle and remember the toilets are at both entrances really far away so you might want to empty your bladders before you even start your walk. Alrighty then, so that's it for this episode. Do remember to like, subscribe and smash the bell so you'll be the first to know every time when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I have heaps of health, beauty and lifestyle IGTVs for you to check out as well when you can. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.